the one good thing I can say is that I did fall asleep fast. But it wasn't a consistent sleep, which my first insomniac review, which is on Zequel Liquid, that actually did do that. Uh, I probably fell asleep within a few minutes of after me last checking in with you guys. And I woke up at 4 a.m., I woke up at 5, I woke up at 6, and then like at 6.15 and every few minutes, you know, before my alarm went off. When actually for the past week and a half of me sleeping without any type of sleep aid, my alarm woke me up, you know, every morning. Like, I didn't wake up so much, so. Not that impressed. I'm going to give this, um, definitely maybe a couple more tries before I give my final verdict. I did feel some relaxing agents, and so personal update, I started a new job like three weeks ago, and I have some anxiety still while I'm there. Um, so I may do the suggestion that's on there of like taking one in the morning, taking one at night, and maybe taking two, or taking one in the afternoon, or taking two at night, or whatever. And we'll see whether or not it performs differently tonight. So I will check back in with you tonight. Now, day two of testing, I took one in the morning because I recently started a new job that's pretty darn stressful, and I gotta admit that in the early part of my day, I did feel relaxed. Now, hopefully it wasn't a placebo effect, but, you know, I did have less anxiety. Um, so, this is day three, and I just took another one. It's... 6.38 in the morning. Now, last night, though, I got home, like, at 10.45, and I took two, probably about 11.15. I was asleep before midnight, but a side note, I was extremely exhausted. And since I've started working this new job, it's been technically three weeks now, I've had nights where I just literally passed out without a sleeping pill. So I can't really say last night was due to the Kava Kava. Um, I did wake up sporadically throughout the night, like at 3 o'clock, and then at 5, and then at 6. But then again, I was passed out so my work clothes with, with, a, with a, a lamp on, without a fan blowing like I normally sleep. So uh, tonight, I will test it out um, with a normal pattern or a normal amount of sleep from the night before because I think technically I got almost seven hours of sleep last night. So I will give my final verdict in the morning. So I do apologize that you just had to like do so much reading. I'm actually about to edit this here at my friend's house. So I couldn't do the original idea that I have of like doing voice work. So. That's why you had to read so much after I stated all the Kava Kava root facts, and hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. But yeah, my concluding thoughts on this is that I tested this, you know, by taking just two at night. And yeah, within an hour I do feel relaxed, but there is no way that this can even compare to like some of the reviews that I read on Amazon of this product stating that, you know, it can feel like Xanax. No. I've taken Xanax before. A couple different doses. Not, you know, extremely... I've taken a heavy dose before, but I've taken light doses before, and this does not even compare to it. Now, it does calm and relax you down, where if you do have some light anxiety, it could help improve it. To make a long story short, I've taken this for a week now, and, you know, when I do take the initial two pills at night, within an hour, I do feel relaxed enough to fall asleep. For me, though, and if you've seen my insomniac reviews or if you just know me, um, I have issues with sleeping well, or at least falling asleep, um and staying asleep, you know, without waking up every three or four hours. The, the week that I've taken this, 
I still tend to wake up like after maybe three or four hours and then again after a couple hours and then normally an hour before my alarm clock goes off. Um, if you see my previous two reviews, you would know that my first review, uh, uh, the product that I reviewed my first review, it did allow me to get a full night's, full night's sleep without waking up, you know, being interrupted and stuff like that. But, um, I did try this, kind of sort of following directions by taking one in the morning. Personal fact, you guys, if you're not a subscriber of mine or if you don't follow me on Instagram, which this is my username, um, I've started a recent job um, that requires a lot of attention to detail and so it's stressful. And so I have taken one pill in the morning and I do feel a slight change while I'm at work, but I'm still anxious, but not as anxious as I usually am. So. All I have to say is that if you're sensitive to medication, this could probably have strong results. I still don't think that it would it would hit you like Xanax would. Um, now, as for being a muscle relaxer, when I took this for the first time during the day, I actually had a slight running injury in my left foot. And yeah, this did nothing for like relaxing my muscles or anything like that during the day because I still have body pains. Um, if you're a person that likes to use all natural remedies, then, you know, I would recommend you to try this product. I mean, it was less than a dollar on Amazon, and I'm hoping to God that it still is. I'm not completely dissing the product, but I would say it's not that bad either. Now, the one thing I do have to say in my Insomniac Review series is that this does make me sleepier faster than the melatonin did, so... Well, okay. This was very long-winded. Um, again, this is Rose from My Randomosity, and thank you so much for watching this crap and doing all that reading that you did in the beginning of this. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Please don't hesitate to ask. And again, I already flashed you my um, Instagram username. That's the same username that I have on Twitter and on Google Plus. Yes, I succumbed to the whole Google Plus YouTube page thing um, just because I couldn't make any comments. And I have a personal Google Plus account, but I don't really link it with my YouTube at all because I basically use my personal account to keep in touch with people that I personally know. But um, it will be linked down below. I do have a Google Plus page and it's really going to be... Because honestly, I don't really refer to my YouTube really that much on my Instagram or my Twitter. But this Google Plus page will be, you know, where I'll talk about things. And actually, I already hinted towards a review of this, you know, coming up. So, if you found this video at all helpful, please thumbs this video up and subscribe for more if you're interested. My channel is called My Randomosity because it's pretty random, just like me. Anyway, if you have any, like, insomniac remedies, whatever, please feel free to leave them in comments below because I'm always open to try new things. I'm basically going to try everything I can before I go the prescription drug route. But yeah, until next time, uh, I hope you all have a great day and you'll be hearing again from me hopefully very soon. Bye! If you made it to the end, congratulations. Um, on my next few videos, probably until the end of December, maybe, I'm going to have this little bonus little segment. Um, I've heard I've heard from a few of you guys that you miss my vlogs because I really have only done vlogs to remember certain events in my life that like I want to look back on. And my last vlog was maybe... Well, not maybe. It was two months ago when I went to Dragon Con in September. Um, I really don't think my life is that interesting, but a lot of people tend to find them inter interesting. A lot of my popular videos are vlogs, so I'm actually considering doing Vlogmas, where I vlog every day up until Christmas. And I want you guys just to let me know whether or not you think that's a good idea. Now, I'm just afraid that my daily vlogs are not going to be that interesting, so it may not be a daily thing. If I do Vlogmas, I'll still upload at least once or twice a week 
a beauty or gaming type, well, probably more beauty, a beauty video. Um, but I, you know, I don't really have the patience to like start another channel, which I don't want to do that. So, if me bombarding your subscription feed with one or two videos a day, now I can't guarantee that I will upload every day, especially if I don't get like interesting footage of my daily life and only have like two or three minutes worth of footage. Um, I may combine days, maybe two at the most. But let me know whether or not you think it's a good idea. I have, what, a little over two weeks to decide. So. But anyway, if you made it to the end of this, thank you so much for watching this crap, and I will talk to you guys later.